Hi everyone, I know it's been a while and I apologize for that because there's just so many other things going on. Um, but I wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on with my hair. I know it's been a few months, so I'm still continuing to take two supplements a day of iron. So I'm taking the 18 milligrams of the Ferris Biz Glycinate Chelate. So I try to take it with, um, with the grapefruit. So actually at night, usually I take one with the grapefruit and then I take one at another time during the day, but I think I could be a little bit better with when I take them, but it's been almost a year now that I've been taking the supplement. Um, so just a quick recap, a nine months ago, my ferritin was 39, and then five months ago I had it retested and it actually went down a little bit. It went down to 36, which was pretty disappointing. Um, but I did some reading on that and apparently the levels do fluctuate so it could go between 14% 14, 14 actually fluctuation to 15% so I kind of took that with a grain of salt kept taking the iron pills and it's been a few months now that I've been taking them my doctor did give me a requisition so I actually just scheduled my next blood draw appointment for in a couple weeks time so I'm going to be giving you guys another update after that so hopefully it has gone up since then um, so for the losing of short hairs, I think last time I posted that I was losing much less short hairs, which was great to see because before I was washing my hair and I would see a hundred short hairs falling out. Um, it's been a lot less, but I still see I think about maybe 20 or 25 when I wash my hair every three days. Um, so this is what my hair has been looking like. So. What do you guys think? Does it does it look thicker? I think I think definitely it it's feeling thicker for me. Um, definitely around the crown area, it's coming in thicker. Uh, but I know that it's going to take a while to reach the ends. I have given it a few trims, and I haven't really been wearing my clip-on hair anymore, so that's good. So I'm feeling a little bit more confident now um, because of the the volume up here. So I'll try to kind of show you here, so you can see it's thicker there and it's always good to, oh you can't really see, see you can see the thickness. It's always good to wear dark colors if you have dark hair. <laughs> so wearing a white shirt um, you can really see the thinness and then also the background whatever is behind you so I mean it's going to be like that until it grows out so I don't really have a choice there but if possible I try to wear dark shirts because my hair is dark and then you can't really see uh, so I definitely think it's growing in and I am, as I mentioned, I'm getting more gray hair which is coming in but there's nothing you can do about that so I've got a couple gray curls happening here but uh, general scalp thickness is definitely improving. So um, also want to mention that uh, someone commented about B12. So my B12 was in the normal range, but again, the normal range might not be ideal. So I did start taking B12, so thank you for that comment. Uh, it's been about four and a half months or so since I've been taking the B12. So I take 500 milligrams once per day. So I'm also getting that tested, so we'll see how that's been doing. Um, I feel really good. So, and again, just a quick update for those who might not have seen my videos. Um, I basically was severely iron deficient for over 20 years. My ferritin was between three and six. So this has been the highest, basically the, the longest period of time that I've had high, well, high <laughs> ferritin for myself. So definitely feeling a lot better. Um, so again, this is not meant to be medical advice. Before taking any iron, you definitely want to consult your physician and get your blood tested because you don't want to have too much iron. Having too much iron is very, very bad for your body. So you don't want to have too much, but having too little iron definitely has effect on your hair, um, lots of things. Cooling your body, keeping your body warm, there's lots of different things that are involved there. Um, check out my other video on iron levels and hair loss, and stay tuned for the next update, probably in three weeks or so. So fingers crossed. Thanks everyone, bye.